another popular horror slasher movie series. I'll tell you, the only problem that I have with the franchise is its title. It's too long. Again, this is a less serious part here. I know what you did last summer. I still know what you did last summer. I'll always know what you did last summer. What's, what's the next one going to be? I, I knew what you did last. <laughs> I know what you're going to do next summer. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. There, there was actually something that I had in my head that was along those lines, and I already forgot what it was. But again, now let's get to the more serious stuff. So in February of 2023, a legacy sequel was announced to be in development with Jennifer Love Hewitt and Freddie Prince Jr. in negotiations to reprise their respective roles. Jennifer Caton Robinson will direct the film from a script written by Leah McKendrick based on an idea by Robinson and McKendrick. Neil H. Moritz will serve as producer. The plot is said to be similar in approach to Scream 5, in which characters from the original film are included in a story featuring a younger cast. Basically, a requel. If you don't know what that is, watch Scream 5. In March, Prince Jr. said in an interview that he had not received an offer to join the film, explaining, quote-unquote, they just said that to get people excited I haven't spoken to anyone at their company. My agents haven't received an offer from them whatsoever. Prince later said that original film announced the sequel without him and Love signed on yet just to excite the fans and that he met with Kate and Robinson after the announcement to discuss his possible involvement. He noted that the meeting left him impressed with her idea for the film, but noted that he hasn't currently signed on to appear as there's no script and has received... No concrete offer yet. Now, let's look at the... First of all, let's just dive a little bit into the numbers as far as the, the first three films. Uh, the first two films were in theaters, 1997 and 98. And the third film was in 2006. Now, that wasn't theatrical. It was only released straight to video. For what, for what reason, I don't entirely know. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that the second movie underperformed in comparison to the first film... But, I mean, then again, there's plenty of movie series that have done that, and they still have sequels that go into the theaters. So, uh, the first movie, as I know, has... The budget was $17 million, and the box office was over $125 million. The second movie was about $24 million in its budget, and the box office was over $84 million. So, as you can tell, the numbers are a little bit tighter there. So together, the budget for the first two films was $41 million, with the box office worldwide grossing over $209 million. And of course, the third film, I don't know how much they made in DVD sales, but again, it wasn't in theater, so they don't have a box office. Now, according to, let's see what Entertainment Weekly had to say about this one. And by the way, by the way, just this title is way too long, so I'm not going to keep repeating it over and over, so I'm just going to shorten it to... You know, what you did last summer or did last summer or simply last summer because I'm just a little bit lazy. And the t again, the title's just too long. So, but a lot of you have seen the movie. All the horror slasher fans have seen it. You know what I'm talking about. So let's proceed. Jennifer Love Hewitt and Freddie Prince Jr. are being eyed to reprise their roles from the 1997 slasher, while Jennifer Caton Robinson is attached to direct. Another summer, another hook-wielding psycho killer, and maybe some familiar faces too. More than 25 years after the first film hit theaters, Sony is developing a sequel to the teen slasher that would bring back original stars Freddie Prinze and Jennifer Love Hewitt. Entertainment Weekly has confirmed that the two are in talks to return for the project, which is still in the early stages of development, while Jennifer K. Robinson is attached to direct. Now, she also did Do Revenge and Someone Great. Haven't seen either one of those, but I'll look those up. And if they sound good, I'll, I'll watch them and check them out. If I really like them, I'll give a review on it. Beyond that, plot and cast details are unknown. The first film followed four friends, played by Prince Hewitt, Sarah Michelle Gellar, and Ryan Philippe, Philippe, who are bound by accident. 
who are bound by accident when they run over a fisherman and dispose of his body in the water. When they reconvene a year later, they receive a threatening letter from someone aware of the incident and are soon terrorized by a hook-wielding murderer. Prince Hewitt and Geller previously reprised their roles for a 1998 sequel entitled, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. A third film, 2006's I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer, followed a new group of pals portrayed by Tori DeVito, David Pacal, or Pacal, Pachow, Pacal, I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. I've never heard it, never heard it, just seen it written. Brooke Nevin and Ben Easter. More recently, Sony and Amazon produced a television series based off the movie series, which debuted in October of 2021 and was canceled the following January. Yeah, it only had eight episodes, and I thought it was a really great show. It's a, just like the movie, slasher, mystery, drama, suspense, thriller. Watch it on Amazon. I did a video review on that. Go watch it on Amazon if you haven't seen it. It's re I think it's worth it. The show, like the movies, was based on Lois Duncan's 1973 novel of the same name. News of the latest franchise resurrection comes. News of the latest last summer resurrection comes amid the killer success of the Scream and Halloween franchises, which recently brought back legacy characters Courtney Cox and Jamie Lee Curtis. Prince's recent screen credits include Punky Brewster Revival, Robot Chicken, and Christmas with You, while Hewitt's credits include Hot in Cleveland, Criminal Minds, and 911. Robinson is also known for co writing Marvel's Thor Love and Thunder. Deadline first reported news of the last summer sequel. So, I mean, that's the big question. Is there going to be another movie? If so, I would guess that. If it's in early development and if they go through some more stuff and go through more details and put together some cast members, I would estimate it would probably be here in about 2025. I I, there's a part of me that kind of thinks maybe 2024 because it's a horror film, especially a slasher. And we all know it doesn't take that long to make those movies. I mean, it's not a Marvel movie. It's not an Avengers movie where they have to work on it for two or three years. You know, most horror films they work on for an average of like six to eight months. You know, I guess maybe 10 months, maybe closer to a year, depending on if they're going to put certain effects into it. But for movies like this, they don't have to do that. So all I can say is I'm a fan of the franchise just as well as I'm a fan of many other slasher films I've talked about in this show. You know, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Scream, Halloween, Child's Play. This one right here is right, right in those. Uh, it's right in that category. So whenever we get more details on this, we'll talk about it later. And whenever they get a release date, I'll mark the date. And if it's going to be in theaters, I'll be there opening weekend. And if not, they might just stream it on, you know, Max or Paramount Plus or Peacock or Netflix or wherever it's going to go. And of course, I'll watch it the first night it's available. So either way, I'm waiting for it.